Hey everyone, it's Lori from Scraps by Sissy. Happy Thursday, everyone. Hopefully you can hear me. I thought I, when I was plugging in my phone or attaching my phone to this um, Acron stand, it looked like I might have shut the video or the volume down. If you can't hear me, please let me know when you log in. Um, be sure to say hello. Um, today we are, because it is September and we're getting close to fall, I thought this was a good time to do something with leaves. Um, this is that new uh, Love of Leaves bundle. And this is the stamp set it comes with. And then the dies, they're so cute. They have stitching in them. There's an in then this inside piece, the middle piece, actually embosses the lines on your leaves, which is what we're going to do today. So, um, let's see. Before I get started with our project today, I wanted to let you know that this is the new host code for this next 10 days. Next week, there will not be a Facebook Live as I'm going out of town. We are taking a trip um, for our anniversary. We're gonna be married 35 years on the 7th, so we thought, you know, we couldn't do anything flashy, you know, because of everything that's going on. So we're doing a road trip. So I have a road trip ordering special for you. When you order using this host code and you place a $50 or more order, you will get your choice of um, host codes, or not host codes, I'm sorry, host stamp sets, and I will send one of those to you for free for thanking you for placing an order. So once you place your order with this host code, shoot me an email to let me know which one, which stamp set you'd like. It can be either in the mini catalog or the new annual catalog, and I will get that out to you as soon as I close out that order. So there's that information. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, I'll give you the measurements on today's card. The card base is done in Pretty Peacock and it's cut at eight and a half by five and a half and is scored at four and a quarter. The Plaid Tidings DSP layer, that's this one right here. I love that paper. It is currently on back order, but it's due back in, I think around the 20th or so. If you haven't seen this paper, there really isn't a bad plaid, haha, -ha, in the bunch. It's just, you've got your Christmas and non-Christmas, just some fall. It's, and you know, the one we're using today, I think is my absolute favorite, that one there. But it's just, it's so pretty. So there's that. Um, let's see, the Cajun Craze layer we have here is cut at three inches by four inches. We're using a piece of the metallic cardstock. I thought it was foil paper, but the catalog lists it as cardstock. And that is also cut at three inches by four inches. Then this layer here is a half inch strip that was in my stash, and I cut it down to about two and a half inches or so and we're gonna flag the ends using the new banner pick-a-punch punch. And then the inside layer of Whisper White is also, it's three and three quarters by five inches. We're gonna do some two-step stamping there. And we gotta do the envelope too. I think the thing that caught my eye the most on this stamp set is the font. It's just a simple, clean and simple font that it's just, it called out to me, so I had to have it. And I just wanted to show you one other card that I had created. Um, it's actually from the pattern or the sketch is from an online convention that I took and I had to make one just because I wanted to show you. It's so pretty. It's done with the stamping, cut out one of the leaves and there's the inside layer. So let's get started on today's card. We're also going to be using the new stamp and cut Stamp and cut an emboss machine too while we're at it, so that'll be fun. In fact, we're gonna start with that, get that right out of the way. I'll move this over here, and then I'll bring in the stamp and cut machine. 
this morning poor Chloe was in here when I was getting the desktop ready here and when I shut this thing ever since we had that uh, big thunderstorm where we had damage to our roof from hail that was like the size of golf balls she's been a nervous wreck so I put her in the house although you may hear her come in here because she's probably gonna bark since she knows I'm out here and she's not so I'm taking my piece of Cajun craze and I'm gonna set that there in the middle and we're going to set the leaf in here make sure it's straight and then we'll put the plate on and we'll run it through now for those that didn't know on Monday this machine went live for customers plus you can order additional acrylic plates which you can see I'm in need of this thing is a little workhorse for me we're gonna save this piece for another project and you can also get the um, the metallic plate uh, not metallic magnetic plate that's gonna be available so now that one, now that we've cut this we are going to glue those two pieces together as soon as I find my adhesive <laughs> see already I've forgotten something hang tight <laughs> Jeez. and I was so excited that I had everything in my cart um, okay, so we're going to glue these two pieces together before I um, add, let's move this up here so you can see what I'm doing, so I can add my piece of metallic paper. Yeah, I got noticed this morning that my credit card, or my debit card, was compromised last night. So here we go, right before we go on vacation, and I have to get a new card. So that's what started my morning off this morning, so I was really hoping to avoid any issues. Okay, so I've glued that down, just using some of this, uh, I keep wanting to call it snail. It's not snail, the Stampin' Seal. Now we're gonna lay, see if this is in the shot, yeah it is. I'm gonna lay that embossing die right smack in the middle of that leaf, and it'll give us those stitched lines to look like the veins in a leaf. Lay that down like that. And we're done with the machine. Let you see what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? That metallic paper is just gorgeous. It comes in gold, bronze, and oh, what's the other color? I want to say copper. The copper one looks more like a chocolate bronze to me, but that's just me. So I'll set this out of the way. And now we'll put our card together and do some stamping. So I did die cut one of the other leaves in vellum. Did that before. Got that ready, so we didn't have to do that. We're gonna fold our card base in half, and we're gonna glue our piece of designer series paper to the front. And for those that always comment on my nail polish, <laughs> I went and got my pedicure done yesterday and my toenails are this color. <laughs> I was looking when I got out of the shower this morning and went, oh, look at that, I matched my project perfectly today. Not that I'm gonna show you my toes. That's a little weird, don't you think? <laughs> All right, so we'll set this aside and we will get our inks out because we're gonna do some stamping off too. Because the inside layer, I'm going to add that leaf image and the sentiment, but I don't want the leaf to be too dark, so you can't see the sentiment, so we're gonna stamp off. And this is our photopolymer stamp set, or one of our photopolymer stamp sets. Let's get that on there a little better so that all the leaves show. Probably could have used the bigger one. There we go, and I did get my pierce mat too so that we have a nice even coverage. So I'm using Cajun Craze and Pretty Peacock. And I'll get this in here so that, 
will have even coverage when I stamp. So I'm just going to ink this up, stamp off, and I'm going to stamp it right in the middle. Just like that. Isn't that pretty? And let's see the inside of this card. I think I used. Nope, the other one I used that other leaf, so that's really all I need there. So I'll clean that off. Now I'm going to stamp the sentiment. And this one I did the Your French. This is a really nice sentiment. It said, you can hear Larry sneeze. Bless you, Larry. I, it says, your friendship is something I know I can count on, which I just love that sentiment. I'll get this stamped right in the middle. And then we'll glue it to the inside. I figured today we were only gonna do one project since we got so much going on around here. I'm excited to get out of town, out of the heat. It's supposed to be 110 on Sunday here. Doesn't that sound like fun? Not really. Okay, so we're gonna add dimensionals to this and attach that to the card. We'll put one in the middle so it doesn't sag in the middle. Just like this. We'll layer that right here. Now for the sentiment on the front, I have a little, here it is, blending in with the envelope. So I'm gonna stamp the little hello. Where's my stamp? Oh, my stamp set. Stamp the hello. And then we will flag the end. I'm gonna stamp him right down. So we want to leave room for that leaf on that end. And now, this is that new banner pick-a-punch. We've used it before on our Facebook Lives. It has a regular flagged in and then the, I guess you'd call it the negative. I'll slide this in and punch it. Let's go one more time. Shorten that up just a tad. You can tell this was a little bit longer. Okay, whoops. <laughs> Here we go. Much better. Isn't that cute? We'll add some more dimensionals to him and stick him on the front of the card. Right at the base of the leaf. Just like that. He's actually a little longer than the sample, but that's all right. Now I have some mini glue dots. We're also going to do some coloring of rhinestones. As I had to have some bling, but I didn't want just regular clear bling. And it looks like my mini glue dots didn't make it. Oh. Let's see, did I drop them out of here? Because I, what I did was I grabbed the ones out of my paper pumpkin kit. Hang on. I wasn't as put together as I thought. Shocking, right? So I'm going to use my take your pick tool. And I'm going to pick up one of the mini glue dots, set that down, and then put our leaf on there. Lost my leaf. Oh dear. You can see why I need a vacation, right? Let's see, did I pick him up? Nope, but that's okay because we have <laughs> we have another die. We'll go ahead and stamp the envelope now. Get that out of the way. Poor Lori. You know, she really does know what she's doing most of the time. I know that's shocking to some people because you think this poor girl, she's just a hot mess every time she shows up. But I really do get my act together once in a while. I promise. What I do with my block? I just had it. See, I start fumbling around and I get all nervous. And you get to see the, oh, it's right here, the chaos. Oh, hi, Ruby. Yeah, it is hot. I am going to be glad to get out of it for a little while. We want to stamp off this leaf. 
just like that. And we'll stamp the leaf on the back of the envelope as we really want to make sure the recipient of our card knows that we're sending them something special. And we're going to put down the I thought of you today sentiment. I thought that was perfect for the outside of an envelope. We're going to stamp that in the pretty peacock so it goes right over that leaf. Isn't that pretty? So now we're going to try, oh, I found my vellum leaf. It's right there. See, I knew it was here. Hooray. Thank goodness for small miracles. So now we'll add him to the card. Just like that. I want him, I don't want him to take precedence over the, um, the gold leaf. So we're going to add another mini glue dot because we're going to add a piece of ribbon and it's the metallic ribbon and it looks very coppery and it's part of the basket weave. We're going to close this up because I know what will happen if I don't. But it's part of that basket weave and metallic combo. We used the, um, the basket weave a while ago. So we're just going to tie a little bow. And this doesn't tie real easy, but it's not bad. And we'll trim his little legs with our scissors, our paper snips. We'll get him out of the way. We'll set him down here on the leaf. And now for the bling. So I'm just going to use some of our rhinestones, and I'm using the Dark Pretty Peacock Stampin' Blends. And we're just going to color a few of them to add just a little bit of extra bling to our card. And I'm going to color three. Now if you have any of the Pretty Peacock rhinestones left over from last year, you could definitely use those. Got a runner here. Here we go. I'm just going to set him right in the pretty peacock plaid pattern. We'll set him, let's put him over here. And then one more down below. We'll put him down here. There. And it's just a little bit of subtle bling for the card. And there you go. We're all done, which is probably a good thing. Here are my two envelopes. Doesn't that make a cute envelope? That sentiment is perfect. And there's our two cards. Well, hi Janine, I see you showed up. Hi Mattia. I hope you guys have a wonderful Thursday. Don't forget, I will be posting on my blog um, the measurements and all the details to our card and the information to my road trip ordering special. I hope you have a wonderful Thursday, and remember, I won't be here next Thursday, but I will be the following Thursday. So have a great week, and enjoy your weekend that's coming. Oh, we have a holiday weekend too, don't we? Great. Have a good one. Bye.